Hey Realm Walkers, welcome back. We are here for episode 14 of our Nightingale Let's Play series, and today is all about progression. So Edith and I are going to jump through this here portal, and I'll just show you guys real quick. It's going to be a desert, and we're going to go ahead and hit the Astrolabe. The reason for that, if we go ahead and switch over to... There we go, that button. Um, our NPCs, you'll see that one, we have the Essence Trader, we obviously need to visit, but Victor Frankenstein is on this map, and um, we've got a quest from him, apparently. Uh, we, I'm going to go ahead and open this portal real quick so it can load while I talk. But um, last episode, uh, I forget her freaking name, Wilmina, Wilmina, whatever her name is, back there, told us that uh, there's someone of note in the astrolabe realm, which apparently I'd forgotten and hadn't gone to, um, but it is Dr. Frankenstein, the creator of the monster. So we're going to go ahead and head in there and see what that has to offer for us. I'll get us stocked up on food and see you guys on the other side. All right, so right out of the gate, this is a beautiful realm. We have nice pink trees that Edith is going to naturally annihilate. Before she chopped it down, <laughs> it looked like a nice little cherry blossom. And we already have a couple of points of interest. I'll go ahead and take this wood. Um, but we already have a couple of points of interest right here we're going to knock out and see if it can't speed us along our journey. Uh, once we take care of these bound, we're going to check out the map and see... Oh, shit. Sword boy. Hey, how about you calm down, sir? Just calm down. It's not worth all that. Oh, shit. These guys are not playing games. Edith, can you pick up the pace? These guys are doing circles around you. Well, and me too. I shouldn't be talking shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so, sorry. Sword boy's down. All right. We can go ahead and use this. These last two guys aren't too much trouble. Boom, there we go. Let's get our nice little treasures. Ooh, 30. Oh, yeah, we're on hard. Okay, so we got 30 tier 1 essence and the tavern card. Hold on. Uh, I want to check out and see what that does real quick. Uh, crafting... Uh, let's close this, and then we're just going to go down to Realm Cards, Tavern Card, Notes. Play this card to prolong the effects of a meal and rest. Oh, that's helpful. Grow tired more slowly and recover your stamina more quickly. Few things have driven blah blah blah. Card applies effects. Modest food duration increased, moderate comfort duration increased, modest stamina region increased, and modest rest drain decrease. Also, the season is summer. So we may test that out when we get back home. Oh, and look at that. We have like tier one or tier two trees over there. Oh, I didn't think about it too. We're in a desert. We may get more Danu Song. Oh, shoot. We have a double sword guy. And these guys don't stagger like they should. All right, take out the trash. Come on, stamina. Damn you. I really need better gear. Oh, no, Edith. Hold on, I got him. There we go. All right, get up, sweetie. You're all right. Don't let it stress you. We all have bad days. Okay, good. We got soaring. Let's go ahead and get our dagger out. Also quick tip if you're jumping you can use the dodge button oh is that a freaking insight puzzle right there oh we are getting loaded oh i forgot i was supposed to look at the map too i'll do it after this insight puzzle um but what was i saying oh yeah use the dodge button while you're hovering in the air and you get like a little speed boost and then if you pull out your umbrella and glide a little bit and then put it away, you can like stack your dodges. 
Uh, that didn't make a whole lot of sense, but you can, you can, oh, we got a mining cradle. You can basically stack your dodges like this. Hover, dodge, hover, dodge, and it really helps you cover a lot of ground, especially if you have the soaring boon, uh, like the fey boon, or if you have like the thin veil or trickster card uh, in play, the minor card. All right, can we, oh no, that's 200. Oh, we can do this one. I don't think I have any tiered wood yet at all, really. And whenever we get actually progress, oh sorry Edith, I slapped you with an axe. Um, but once we actually progress to um, refined weapons, I want to have some better wood to use. That's another 100. Oh, let me get my sickle. I don't need my... Oh yes, tier 2 desert fiber. Give me all of this. And then what is this? Yes, give me this. So at least we'll have like tier 2 desert stuff. I may go like off camera and farm some more tier 2 stuff. And other uh, hard astrolabe realms. Just so we can kind of play with the uh, the stat differences between, you know, say desert, swamp, and... Uh, what is this? This is green. Oh, let me repair this real quick. It's pretty low. Also, pro tip... Now that repairs cost something, don't repair it until it's, like, almost broken. Because you do not get a discount, you know, based off of the level of durability. Caveat, this is early access, so that can fully change later. But right now, just wait to repair it until it's almost broken or broken. Just to get the most value for your essence dust. Alright, let's see. Jump. Oh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be using... Oh, excuse me, guys. Edith, you leave them alone. They didn't do anything to us. Where is our quest? Oh, he's down here. Oh, our essence trader's on the way, too, though. All right. Yep. Uh, natural sage fashion, fashion. We're going the wrong way. Oh, and we lost our boon. Oh, and my wrist is sprained from blocking so much. Okay, so... <gasps> Oh, I love these little things. They look like Yorkies, but they're like fey. They have like flower mouths. They really need to add it. I mean, it's clear to me, at least in my brain, that I think these are intended to be like tameable pets eventually. Like those and the little forest flower guys. I wish they'd go ahead and add that because I want a little cute fey pet so bad. I mean, the dots and uh, like, you know, the little weenie dog is cool or whatever, but oh shit, we have a knight over there. Um, but I want a fey pet. You know, just to go with the theme of the realms and all that. All right, uh, I'm gonna skirt these guys. Let's see what the essence trader has that we haven't unlocked yet. And we can tell that we need to unlock stuff because when we're doing the um, the points of interest, we're still unlocking things, which tells me we haven't c completely cleared this tier yet. And it's a good way for you to kind of, you know, keep a pulse on on what tier you need to be in. All right, charms. Oh, we haven't, oh God, we got a lot to buy. Good news is, is I have a lot of essence saved up. All right, let's buy this light. Augmentations, ooh, a sundial. Oh, they still haven't fixed it. Um, after a patch, they have a bug, so normally you could use this drop down to see what the sundial would unlock for you, but we're gonna buy it anyway, cause we're gonna need it eventually. Oh, we got our advanced walls. This is what we needed for the archways. See, we needed to be here anyway. All right, cooking, grilled fish, already owned, potions, a frosted potion. Feels near frozen, threatening to cling to one finger tabs. Oh, it's protection against heat and flame. We can use that whenever we're doing the sites of power. Uh, strengthening potion, increases strength, sprinter potion. Ooh, has a sharp smell of ozone. Enough to send an anxious buzzing through the lower limbs. I guess that helps, like, sprint cost, maybe? We'll look at it more later. Realm cards. Combatants Workshop. Play this card to craft tools that deal greater damage, but offer reduced yield. Oh, so we can have, like, a... A crafting set of tools? Or a harvesting set of tools and a... Uh, battle set. Play this card to increase your strength and carrying capacity at the cost of your... Tools and clothing's durability. Okay. It's not too bad. 
infusions. I'm not going to read all these. So we got range damage, magic, stamina regen, and maximum stamina. Those are all useful. And then charm of essence. After slaying several creatures, this charm will manifest in essence. That could be good as long as it's not just dust. And then the fencer charm grants movement speed to the wearer when they hit a creature's weak point. Well, you know, we like headshots. So that might be good for us. All right, let's make sure we have everything from this guy. I don't think we need any more benches right now. Okay, yeah, the rest is resources. And then he has raw mushrooms. All right, well, thank you, Alvin. It was nice seeing you. I love your cart and uh, happy realm hopping, man. All right, let's go on to Frankenstein. Uh, remove this marker because that will confuse us. <coughs> Oh, he's not far. He's only like 400 meters away. I love the white of the rocks. Oh, and the blimps. The blimps. I don't think we've seen blimps since the tutorial realm. But it really gives that steampunk vibe. Could you guys imagine if we could like ride around the map on those eventually? Or, like build a base? Like, when I say build a base, I don't mean like build a whole base on the blimp. I mean like, you know put all our crafting stuff on a blimp and our base just be like, you know, floating around the mountain. That's a cool concept. If by <laughs> whatever, oh, shoot, boop, boop, boop. Oh no, that's a, that's a bishop. So those guys aren't inherently um, like uh, aggressive. If they have the skirt on the bottom, they, they can be sweet. Uh, be careful though, because Edith, Edith has an ax. I'm gonna try and show you guys if I can get her away far enough. Manage. Uh, unequip. Okay, now let's see. They should offer an interaction. Yes, see this here? You can give them an offering and they have a skull face and they typically like um, plant life, I think. Let's see if she likes that. Did you like it? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, well, I guess <laughs> our little flower wasn't good enough for her. But anyway, it shows you that they're not they're not aggressive. The bishops, I'm pretty sure that's a bishop. Let's let's double check. Yeah, the bishops aren't inherently hostile. Now, if you come across a knight where the um the little skirt she has, it's like on their elbows. Those guys, they fight you, they, they ask no questions. It's kill mortals, ask questions later with those guys. Oh, look at that, blimp. We got hawks, we got a little cave over there we can look for coal in. Oh, we have a note, is it gonna be Danu? Let's hope it's Danu, let's see. Oh, nope, but it's another uh, irritant of hope. Oh yeah, okay, so it's how the Fae got created into the existence we know them in today. All right, so let's read this real quick. This contact precipitated through all of us at once, though not all collapsed. Some remained accessions, excisions. Some stretched out across all dimensions. Some, I discurse. I discurse, what is that? Oh my goodness, <laughs> language is hard. Afterwards, only those of a kind stayed together, though we didn't all travel the path to, to the same degree. The first I encountered was Momus, Oezes, Oezes, uh, he said in the tongue of bedrock movements, have you seen what you can do with these? He was shifting one through generations, making its numbers grow and collapse. I watched closely the structure's components that I was now realizing were possibly separate things, unflowable droplets like Momus and myself were struggling against their fate. Even as Momus sent, sent disaster their way, played, pruned, they mourned and fought on, rebuilt, survived. I stopped him for a moment and had him watch. Those parts are like us, he said, save for that carrying on, which is without sense. Submerge and reflow, little beings. <laughs> I bet they cannot, I said. Cannot forgo that thing. A bet said Struth, 
a third newly consolidated, I will adjudicate. All right, so the, just to recap, the last lore note we found on this was talking about how uh, like the primordial phase interactions with humans pulled them from that primordial existence and kind of gave them a sense of self and restricted their being or consciousness, consciousness or something. Anyway, it made them more in line with like our brain waves as humans. And then this is kind of their early steps through that phase where they're kind of playing with these new created fey beings and, and, and kind of experimenting and stuff. So this was really cool to see. I don't know who Struth is. That's a new character into this little dance. Um, but I'm interested to see what that bet is in the next lore note. All right, let's keep going. Oh, this must be... Oh, Frankenstein's got himself a little palace. All right, let's hop up in here. Oh, wait, hold on. We have a whole camp and another lore note. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. A cateen. I want a cateen for a pet inflection. Let us have cateen pets. All right. Let's hit this lore note. Maybe it's Danu. Maybe it's Hope. Oh, pocketbook. Oh, God. We haven't seen one of these in ages. All right. Uh, so just to recap before we read this one. Basically, this pocketbook is a journal. Um, and it's right around the time that the pill started happening and it's from, uh, the perspective of someone who was like in a, in a, in a college, uh, in the, in the old world of earth and in, in London to be specific. Anyways. All right. The morning had left me rather discombobulated, but I found myself gathering Ogilvy's. Oh, and the girl, like the friend at the college, this guy's friends with sent him to go get a whole bunch of ingredients so that they could make realm cards because all the portals were failing. And that's kind of where we pick up here. I hear frickin' locusts in the background. I hope the, the automatons handle them. Anyways, so he was gathering Ogilvy's strange ingredients from various pawn shops, costermongers, and pharmacists. One old alchemist recognized my ingredients list and cackled that realm cards were wonderful for gambling with your life. I hurried away. At midday, Fletch Door Express arrived from Paris. Victoria was overrun with the French, tear-stricken, disheveled, but all hiring cabs to Paddington for the Nightingale train. Those wild-eyed Parisians couldn't explain what had happened to their city beyond broom, broom. So, like, smoke, fog. But from there, the panic spread quickly. As I made my way back to the college, the streets were jammed with carriages, cars, buses, and people. The rich heading for their country estates, others heading for mountaintops, or even setting sail for the Americas. When I got there, Ogilvy was passed out asleep at her desk, so I left my purchases, headed home, and sank into an armchair, exhausted. Ooh, so I wonder if those guys made it out eventually. Let's go ahead and nap here under this tent, grab some food. Oh, we got two for one on that one. I might need to... Ex oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. We have another lore note. <laughs> Today is the day of lore notes. All right, let's see. Uh, let's get our umbrella back out. Let's see what we got here. Maybe it's Danu. Oh, it's not. It's Oh, literally. It's the next one. This is an awesome happenstance. All right. Dawn woke me with a start, and I dressed quickly to walk back to the college. The city was quieter than usual. No birds, little traffic, not even the buzz of horseflies. The early editions had the Parisian mist encroaching on Chatham and Rochester this morning. Oh, so it's like the, the pale is coming closer. The naval captain staying with their ships and would be with us by tea time. And that the queen had refused to let the royal family flee despite Lord Beaconsfield's pleas. Ogilvy was calm. She had spoken to a Parisian researcher the day before. The transept equation was right, but the portal network itself had gone wrong. The pale has somehow escaped the interrealmic void, she said. We have no idea what it will do, but it will cover the earth by the new year. She had spent the night with other researchers creating realm cards. She is sure this combination will get us to New Kerno, then to Nightingale. We're about to go through. Oh crap, so they're about to go through the portals. They don't know that like the whole network is blown up at this point. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love that we got one back to back because instead of having to remember everything, we just got to see like the next step in that journey. 
All right, so let's head on up this tower and see what Frankenstein has in store for us. Oh, I love how far you can see. All right, focus, focus. Oh, the blimp circling. I feel like I hear a hope echo. Ooh, is this a... Oh, look at that. Okay, we're going to hop down here and grab this. Oh, a weighted eminent card. Healing potions. And a restful potion. Hey, that's, that's legit. We got some stuff. All right, let's see what... Frankenstein's got going on. Let's get our automaton bishop plate. Oh, look at it all. I love how far you can see. It just makes it feel so alive. You can see little catines. The bishop and the rooks over there mining. That's our portal where we came in over there. Oh, I just love it. Alright, come on. Inside. We're going to talk to old Frankenstein. Oh, dude. This little, this little hole is so cozy. Closed plant histology textbook. I want one of those so bad. For decoration, if nothing else. Alright, let's talk to him real quick. Oh, wait, hold on. Can we get this table? And these fey chairs? Oh, he's living the high life out here. All right, okay, let's talk to the man. I've come to despise field work in the autumn life, or in the autumn of life. Out here, there are no la laboratory doors that I can lock myself behind to avoid these persistent disruptions. When the mind is tasked with deliberation, solitude is indispensable. What are you deliberating? I am Victor Frankenstein, and it is the secrets of heaven and earth I desire to learn both the outward substance of things and the inner spirit of their nature. I am attempting to ascertain greater understanding of these pitiable, wondering imitations of life, which may classify as automatons, or mini-classify. I do so to support Nellie Bly with her endeavor. Oh, he knows Nellie! Nellie Bly? Oh, okay, here we go. Nellie Bly, someone else told me to find her. If you can make your way to Miss Bly, I advise you to do so. She's made it her warrant to aid those who have been set adrift in these strange lands. Nothing is so painful to the human mind as a great and sudden change, and she hopes to serve the role of solace in our time of mass transition. Alright, let's see. I said I wasn't going to go through all the dialogue. Alright, what are you trying to gain from these automatons, sir? Nellie and I are compelled by the makeup of the unique charm oil secreted by the bishop. This substance is capable of generating profound amounts of electricity. What I'm hoping to uncover is the precise means by which we might be able to obtain this oil without deactivating them entirely. So far, I've gleaned little by glossing over that what texts are available. My thoughts are being pulled in two directions, you see, which is not conducive to either of the dueling means for me. You seem overwhelmed. More than language has the ability to convey. Before encountering Nellie, I was meant to be devoting my time in the realms to a robust study and laborious disquisition. What is that word? Disquisition on our new common enemy, the Bound. Oh, okay. I have to ask him this. Do you know what the Bound are? Nobody at all knows their origins or intent, aside from an obvious desire to eradicate human life from these wilds. All we know so far is that they are not quite alive, similar to the automatons, which leads me to believe they are too f they too are fey animated. Though which fey court may be responsible and what their reasons may be are complete mysteries. I've taken on a few bow myself with some success. Is that so? I wonder if I could enlist your services. You could aid me with my calcularian duties whilst I continue to examine these automatons. I hate to neglect my duties as both are of some urgency. Obtaining the oil is tantamount, yet an understanding of the bound will prove invaluable in the fight ahead. In all honesty, Mrs. Lovelace is a bit frightening on occasion and I prefer not to upset her. Um, there's something you're not telling me. <laughs> remaining, phlegmag 
phlegmatic was never one of my virtues. My days of pilfering charnel houses are behind me, but to examine life, we must first have recourse to death. A surfeit of samples taken from all bound classifications will prove essential. The innards that sustain their animate state. Knowing progress is being made on that end will take the weight off my shoulders and afford me a break from mental misery needed to impel my knowledge of the automatons. By the time you return, I should have ascertained most details on their bishops. Let's hope, for all our sakes. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Oh, shoot. Okay, so this is that quest where we have to get all the bound supplies for old Victor. I just forgot it was for Frankenstein. Alright, so we're going to need... Uh, some of this stuff is not going to be till later, but we need uh, arcane wicks. We should have plenty of bound bristle, bound icor. Those are super simple. Lacanus ingots. I think we have plenty of those at home. But what I'm concerned about is the U petrified icor and hollow metal because we're not going to get those till we get later in the game. So I'm thinking this might be it for old Frankenstein's quest. What I'm going to do is hit a couple more of these points of interest while we're here and farm up some things we're going to need, like um, salt. I'm going to see if there's any salt on here before we get too far past these early levels. Um, that way we'll have it for seasoning later for our food. And maybe grab some coal before we head back home. But for you guys, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Edith and I, I don't know where she is right now. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next episode where we're going to hit the... Um, the forest provisioner realm and kind of get our next quest while we chip away at victors all right thank you guys remember if you like the video hit that like button and if you want to follow along subscribe and i will see you guys in the next episode sage out